Hello again and welcome to uh, Project Learn DB2 Now. As promised in this new video series, I'm going to be concentrating on how to build websites using DB2 and ASP.NET 2.0. So let's get started. Click on File, New, Website. You can use Visual C Sharp, Visual Basic or Visual J Sharp. I'm going to be using C Sharp for this. In the project templates you'll need to choose ASP.NET website. So let's give it a name. Me to web project. Choose OK. Now the first thing that you will notice is that you'll be you'll be brought into the uh, source view. Now this view enables HTML or web developers alike to customize uh, the look and feel of their web page. So let's give this a title. Welcome to DB2 Web Programming. Right? So now we have a page title. So let's not bother about all the other details. Let's go right ahead onto the design view. Now let's enter employee data details. Let me just go ahead and center this. Make a few adjustments here and there. Okay. Now the first thing that you'll need to do is to uh, go to the server explorer expand your tables and make sure that you are connected to DB2 now let's go ahead to the toolbox and work with the uh, grid view control now this grid view control let me just go ahead and make this a smaller size yep it's perfect so unlike in Windows applications, uh, in web applications, you have the uh, grid view, a data list, a details view, a form view, and a repeater control. Now, what these controls are mainly used for uh, uh, displaying data and for modifying data. So let's go ahead and and display the data. So click on this arrow here and choose. A data source and choose new data source just like we did in the Windows applications we'll need to choose a database let's give it DB2 DS1 okay now we'll be using the same connection string there's no difference here let's click on next now let's go ahead and choose a table let us go ahead since we are referring the employee table I'm just going to choose a few of these. Now let's choose one more column. Let's choose the salary. Now here we can choose to return distinct rows. And there's an interesting uh, clause here, which is the advanced button. Using this dialog, we can generate insert, update, and delete statements. We'll come to this in our next video. Click on next. Yes, just, just test the query. As you can see, the data has been displayed. Now click on finish. As you can see, let's go ahead and format this a little. Much better. Right. Expand this. Save all. Now you're all set to uh, run your first DB2 powered website. Now this is not recommended in a production environment wherein you will need to uh, disable uh, uh, debugging but for the purpose of this demo I have just enabled it. Click on OK. And, um, and another important thing to realize is that uh, in since Visual Studio 2005 you, need, you don't have to have IIS installed 
uh, in order to run ASP.NET uh, projects. So as you can see, you can view, sort by particular column. You can select. You can enable various paging. So wasn't that easy? In my next video, I'm going to be covering how to work with uh, data in terms of uh, insert, update, and delete operations. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you.